In this video, let's write the code for our climbing staircase problem. Back in Replit, let's begin by defining the function signature. Function climbing staircase parentheses curly braces. The function will have one parameter n, which is the number of steps in the staircase. Now we do have some constraints we can use to get started on the solution. We know that the number of ways to climb one step is one and the number of ways to climb two steps is two. So let's create an array. Const number of ways is an array one comma two. Let's now return number of ways of n. But here's the thing, our staircase starts with at least one step, but an array starts at index zero. To equate the two, we have to return number of ways of n minus one. If we now log climbing staircase, passing in one and two, run the code, we see one and two respectively. And we know this is the right answer. Now let's add the logic for n greater than two. We know that the number of ways to climb n steps is equal to the number of ways to climb n minus one steps plus the number of ways to climb n minus two steps. We can use a for loop and implement this logic. For let i is equal to two i less than or equal to n i plus plus and in each iteration number of ways of i is equal to number of ways of i minus 1 plus number of ways of i minus 2. We start at 2 since array index starts at 0. If we now add additional logs for n is equal to 3, 4, and 5, run the code, we see the expected values returned. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. Our code works as expected. Now what is the time complexity? Well, we have one for loop. So the time complexity of our climbing staircase function is O of n, or linear time complexity. All right, for our final problem in this JavaScript algorithm series, let's take a look at the Tower of Hanoi problem in the next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.